Good morning, Jan from Organics, 50 and Raw. And it's a beautiful day in South Texas today. We had a, a trip to the, uh, the farm, the ranch this morning for the lady who I buy um, farm-raised eggs from and had a blast over there seeing their bunnies and their ducks and their chickens and all their plants and amazing, lots of fun. So I came home and I'm eating this creation. I didn't want to blend my bananas. I wanted to chew on them today instead of swallow them. So cut up four bananas and in the coffee grinder I ground up some walnuts and I put some of this honey on it because I felt like eating some honey this morning. It's a uh, with bee pollen, bee propolis, and royal jelly. And I know a lot of raw fooders don't eat honey, but I have chosen to eat honey. And, um, and then with my chamomile tea. So it's a nice Saturday here. I'm looking forward to the rest of the day. I'm gonna start decorating for Christmas today, November 1st. I'm gonna get that going. I wanted to show you guys my beautiful wheatgrass. Isn't it beautiful? This is what I went over to um, the ranch to get was my wheatgrass. And uh, we saw their animals and such. Very pretty. So I'll be juicing that for myself and selling some in my studio. Um, I haven't put my Christmas decorations up yet. I got into the cleaning mood and I've been deep cleaning my house, my restrooms, my kitchen. So it might have to wait till tomorrow. But I'm gonna eat my dinner. I did eat three um, corn on the cobs that were just heated up a little bit, warmed up would be better to say, and um, enjoyed that. That was really filling. And this is gonna be my last meal of the day today. I have 14 prickly pears in here, 14 red prickly pears. And I'm gonna blend those up, strain off the seeds, and then I'm gonna blend in one pomegranate. I feel like drinking pomegranate. So I'm gonna blend that up and add them together and see how that tastes. Uh, something that else that I've been doing while I've been cleaning, let me just show you how to get the pomegranate seeds out. You put, cut the pomegranate in half, or anyway, and then I just take a big spoon and I just start tapping on the pomegranate and all the seeds come out and I just turn it and turn it. So while I've been cleaning, I've been carrying around my iPad, listening to videos and uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, I live in the land of nachos, tacos, Mexican food, beans and rice, and there's nobody that I know of that lives down here that is a raw fooder or, you know, that really um, challenges their eating very much that I know of. There might be some. Maybe I'll meet them someday if they see my videos. So I, what I do is I listen to a lot of YouTube videos to just encourage myself. And then also I keep myself accountable by making these videos. So I was listening to uh, some new YouTubers today. Mimi Kirk, she, great. She's 75 years old. She's been a raw fooder for six years. And she talks about anti-aging and um, beautiful, beautiful lady. And then I was listening to another lady, a triathlon runner. And she's almost 80 and her name is... Ruth, Dr. Ruth Heidrich, and she's a, a triathlon runner, and I, apparently she's very famous, and um, she, she lives on a vegan diet, mo eating mostly raw food, and she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and they, it was um, already in her bones, and they wanted to do surgery and start chemo on her, and she saw an ad in the newspaper looking for breast cancer, uh, patients to to do an experimental diet on them and that was Dr. Doug McDougall and um, so she went and saw him and she he told her basically he showed her all the research he had done on 
a low fat vegan diet and how it can heal your breast cancer. And so she said, okay, I'm gonna change my diet today. And so she had been eating the SAD diet, standard American diet, and she immediately changed to a very low fat uh, vegan diet with a lot of raw foods. She eats leafy greens for breakfast, she eats leafy greens for dinner, and she had never had to have surgery. She healed her breast cancer and continued to run many marathons and many triathlons. This was in the 1960s that she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And um, so really inspiring story. You know, get on YouTube is wonderful. She says that the number one cause of uh, heart disease or any disease is ignorance. It's just ignorance. And then she made it, she said another quote that said, in five years from now, you will be the same person except for the books that you read and the people that you meet. Meaning the influence that they have in your life uh, will change you. If you're reading books, if you're um, you know, meeting people who will challenge your life and your way of thinking and you know, really, really give into you and if you're ready to receive what that person has to offer you. So I'm going to make a little bit of noise right now. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back. So I have all my red prickly pears blended and I'm going to strain off the seeds through here. let that go through the strainer, throw the seeds away. Seeds are like little tiny pebbles. So even though they're, they are edible, they're not to me very pleasant to have to swallow. So keep in mind that in this um, probably 32 ounces of, of um, red prickly pear juice, I'm getting tons of vitamin C and tons of magnesium, probably like three or four times my RDA for vitamin C and magnesium. And then all those phytochemicals. Okay, so I'm gonna take my red prickly pears, maybe half. And then I'm gonna take like, I'm gonna take a whole pomegranate. I'm gonna blend them up. I've never made this before. I've never heard of anybody who's made it. But it sounds good to me, and so I'm just kind of going with what I feel like eating. Just gonna make a little bit of noise. Okay. Let me see. Oh yeah, this is the bomb. This is the bomb. Mmm, delicious. There's a little bit of grit from the pomegranate seeds, but hmm, doesn't matter. Total nutrition right here, incredible. Give it a try. So we're gonna go to the park and um, fly an airplane, play with my kids. Set the clock back an hour because it's daylight saving. So, yay, we get to sleep an extra hour tomorrow. So, yep, that's what my evening's gonna be. Give this recipe a try and thumbs up my video. Share it with your friends. Bye, guys. Blessings. How about I do something funny? Smile. <sighs> okay, dad's joke about the buffet. <laughs> uh, you wish that you screamed. <laughs> okay. I want Smile. Yeah. <laughs>